Minneapolis residents and people who live in St. Paul should find out this week who the next mayor will be. Election day is this coming Tuesday. Today, North Minneapolis based radio station KMOJ and the group Black Votes Matter hosted a radio debate for six of the Minneapolis mayoral candidates. They talked about a wide range of issues from affordable housing to education to promoting the growth of minority owned businesses. WCCO's Susan Elizabeth Littlefield looks at how the candidates are making their final pitches. We have to hold schools accountable. Before they face off Tuesday, these candidates are facing each other, sharing a small table and a broad range of opinions. Basically, that's my goal was to get this out here, get them in the room, have them give their last ditch effort, so to speak. So her fellow KMOJ staffers in Black Votes Matter Minnesota hosted the debate. We're starting to experience the 50s and 60s all over again. And so it's important for me that everybody have housing. It's important to me that everybody is treated fairly and equally. Candidates answered questions about education in a city with a huge achievement gap between races. If you're not successful, in kindergarten, it's a long road to 12th grade, and we want to make sure that kids get off on the right foot. I think that it's also important to not be too cozy um, with Minneapolis public schools either, because there might be a time where I would have to challenge them in speaking up on behalf of parents and students of color in particular, or students who um, have disabilities, or students who speak English as a second language. So, as mayor, uh, having those those convenings where we talk about those things, where we engage people. And, you know, with a 23 or a $30 million shortfall, what can the city actually do to work with the public schools to try to lessen the impact? Using the resources I have as mayor to bring other parties to the table on behalf of our students, whether it's for workforce or whether it's for early, early childhood. Candidates also talked about affordable housing and how to make Minneapolis a better place for people of color. We need to be going out affirmatively into communities, uh, into diverse communities, to ensure that, that uh, you know, the policies that are passed over at City Hall are not just accessible to everyone, but are representative of the entire city. I'm looking over here and looking to these the, the people that are struggling at, uh, for economic development uh, to gr uh, create business in their own community, and uh, and that's my fight. My fight is against the established uh, uh, the establishment. Six points of view with one job to fill. Susan Elizabeth Littlefield, WCCO 4 News. A reminder that early voting is available in Minneapolis and St. Paul through tomorrow evening. Polls officially open Tuesday morning at 7. Today, St. Paul City Council member and mayoral candidate Dai Tao held several meet and greets. He's been meeting with voters all weekend long ahead of Tuesday's vote. And so has candidate Pat Harris, who will be on the ballot as well. The former St. Paul City Council member held a meet and greet this afternoon and finished the day by knocking on doors and making phone calls.